Edward. I'm Harlan. That's that show tight in. Tent is hilarious. Let's see what they've got in. I love the Trapper Tent one. They usually have a few nice bits. Let's see what they've got. How insane is that drinks cabinet? Absolutely love that. We got one in black and gold, but that's white and gold. I just prefer that so much better. It's absolutely gorgeous. Oh my god, these chairs are absolutely gorgeous. <gasps> How fab are they? <gasps> I am obsessed with them as well at the back. Oh my god, there's some absolute fans in here, you know? Look at this. Oh my god, imagine that in the studio with like an amazing ornament on top. Oh my god, I love it. Do you know what though? The Home Sense in Traffic Centre has all the old fixtures. Just a little um, FYI from Home Sense Insider. It's like all the ends on glass shelves. Just to let you know. I love that. That is absolutely gorgeous. <gasps> They've got some fab. Oh my god. Oh, I don't like them. No, no, no. I like the other side. I love the boucle slash shell and cushions. They're nice, aren't they? Yeah, I don't like all the old fixtures. So I think it makes the like shop look a bit old. Do you know what I mean? I'm not the greatest fan of them. Yeah, I haven't seen anything to stand out here in the cushions. Oh my god, the Christmas stuff's over the other side. Oh my god, they've got some unreal Christmas pieces, you know. There's a little pom-pom wreath here. Do you know what, though? I came last year, and I'm not going to lie, I think I think overall the stock was much better last year. That's gorgeous. Look at them, like little bambies. They've got some nice, cute pieces, but I do think last year was so, so much better. Like, it really was. There are some cute things as you can see. I love them mitts as well. They had them in our oh, home sense. And I love that. That is absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Love that. Them stars are nice as well. Oh my god. Love like that vintage bell. That is absolutely stunning. Sorry, I might multitask in. But oh my god, I absolutely love that. I feel like I could put that on my tree, couldn't I? It's only a fiver. I might have to buy that. I think I'm going to buy that user. I really like it. Let's see what's around here. Oh my god, how fab are those like vintage bells? Absolutely love them. Oh my god, that's so pretty as well. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I love it. And then there's some just garlands. They're a bit like vintage, um, not vintage, sorry, traditional. I haven't seen much traditional pieces lately, so that's really nice to see. Oh my god, how boss is this? It's a Yule log cracker. Imagine that as like every guest gets one but it looks like you're getting a cake i'd be fuming because i love cake so i'd be really misled We've got a few nice crackers in here they're pretty aren't they gold and blue love them. just seems i mean i know him since it's random but i feel like it just seems even more like random in here i don't know why do you know what i mean i love them now they were in i think i put them on my insta actually in the home center entry one and they're fab. I absolutely love them. Nutcrackers, proper modern, dead quirky. I absolutely love them. There's some gorgeous baubles that I haven't seen before. I absolutely love those. Proper quirky. Beautiful. They are stunning. Look at them. I love these as well. Oh my god, they're giving me proper luxe vibes. There's these baubles that are giving me Harrod. Oh wow, look at that. That is gorgeous. Oh, that's so pretty as well. Look at that. There's some nice ones that'd be nice on my tree. That'd be really gorgeous. I need to just wind it in though. I need to just stop buying stuff now. Even though I've just spotted something. Oh my god. <gasps> just wrecking the shop, don't worry. Oh my god, I love that. How cute and quirky is it? Some felt trees. They're nice as well. Love them. How cute are these? Little gift tags. It's got Merry Christmas on, a little pink one. And this fa la 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 <laughs> um, like button, I love that. That'd be really nice in the studio. Might get that. I don't know, I'll say I'm trying to be good to use one of Christmas brands, I'm not going very well. There's the um the bum candle I was raving about. Um I put it on my Instagram and they also had it online on TK Max, but I absolutely love it. I think it's boss. And these are nice, aren't they? Perfect little um, Secret Santa gift, love them. Got a few Ray Dawn candles hiding back there. White Christmas DW Home, I always say DW is the best candle to get from Home Sense. That's nice, White Christmas. Do you know what, the Christmas candles? Not seeing anything unreal in here, I'm not gonna lie, it's quite disappointing. I'm not gonna do a small test today, there's too many people and I'm in um, a different shop so I don't feel comfortable, you guys. <laughs> oh my god, Jews, look what I've just spotted. I love that, how much is that? doesn't have a price on you know that's home sense for you 
But oh my god, obsessed. I love them. They give me proper Fonsonetti vibes. Love, obsessed. And this guy up here got a bit of an egghead, but he's cute. Do you know what? It's a bit of a kind of like trying to find a needle in a haystack in here today. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little bit um yeah, oh my god, no stop it. They've got Easter stuff in. I screamed. Love that. Sorry, is this a Christmas vlog or an Easter vlog? <laughs> oh my god, no, I actually like Oh my god, no, I might have to get that. Do you know what? You've got to get things when you see it in Home Sense. Let me just move that before I break the shop book. Can you see that? I think I'm gonna get that for the studio. I haven't done Easter in the studio yet, I'll have to get it. My world's biggest divvy carrying an Easter item around in December, quite possibly. <gasps> that artwork is stunning. <gasps> obsessed. Oh my god, I'm obsessed with this. This is a bit of a standout piece. Gorgeous chest of drawers. Like a matte gloss finish with gold and that white pattern is fab. It's 299.99. God use. Sorry, pure shake on the camera, but they've got a boucle stool. It is. Just excuse me with me Easter gifts. <laughs> it's 60 pounds and it's absolutely stunning. I'm obsessed with it. <gasps> Do I need it now? Do I want it? Yes. Ooh, some gorgy Christmas dining bits. Love this little Santa jar. You put anything in there. Got a little clasp on it, and that is gorgeous as well. Little biscuit jar with a tree on. They're fabby. Some gorgeous bits here, to be fair. God, they've got an Alessi gingerbread cup for a fiver. I've seen them in Selfridges. I might have to get that because it's only a fiver. Oh, do you know how much I love Elf? Does someone need a hug? <gasps> if anyone has me for Secret Santa, could you please get me that? Thank you. Oh my god, they've got Costa gift sets. What? <gasps> oh, amazing. How much is that? $16.99. I don't know how much the actual Costa ones are, but OMG. Big brand on it. Oh my god, I love the way this one has a little mezzanine. I've worked in this one before. Um, but I don't recognise anyone in here, I imagine. I uh, do you remember me from like two years ago when I came to this store. <laughs> Awkward. Oh my god, Jews, can you see that? H&M Home coming soon. Spring 2022 in the Trafford Centre. I cannot wait, that's going to be amazing. We've also got some mad photo area, which is like mirrored. To get your photo in. I'm presuming it's to do with the like spaceship advert they've done. So that's cool if you want to come get your pick here. Oh my god, I didn't know Alessi was doing tree decorations this year. Look at them. Aren't they amazing? So if you're doing a quirky tree, definitely get these for John Lewis. I mean, they're like £19 a bauble, but you know, if you're into a bit of a designer tree, then this is definitely the stuff for you. I'm not gonna lie, this year I was a bit disappointed by the Liverpool um, John Lewis setup. I don't know whether loads of people have just bought from them, but this is the first tree, so this is Gemstone Forest. <gasps> I am obsessed. Look at this. So it's got all like foliage inside. I absolutely love that. And there's a pink version back there. These are stunning gold leaves. She made to do a gold tree. She would absolutely love them. <gasps> Look at them. Oh. Oh my god, I'm obsessed with them as well. They look fab in my tree. How much are they? I don't know how much they are. £8. They look so nice. I've already done my tree though. I can't bother spending another fortune on more decorations. I'll probably buy stuff next year. Like, But that's that's a bit different, isn't it? You're allowed to do that. Oh, look at the fairy. This is very much like the fairy garden um, theme that I spoke about on my Christmas tree trends video. If you haven't watched that, definitely give it a watch. Um, and I said about how like the fairy garden stuff was kind of coming into trend and this is definitely it. Look at them unreal butterflies, they are absolutely gorgeous. <gasps> There's just uh, some unreal pieces, there really is, they are just stunning. Absolutely beautiful, I didn't really see these in the garden centre. These are more like luxury looking baubles to be honest. I'm obsessed with them, you know, use if they've got them in brown, I'm defo going to get them. They've decorated the tree quite subtly, I don't know whether they're just scared of people getting baubles off them. Um, but I also like the way you can sort of like pick a little guide up, you know, to like um, help you with your theme. I really like the idea of doing that. I might pick a few of them up because I really like it. To be honest with you, the themes um, this year seem a lot the same as last year. This one's called Blush Coat. Now this one was a theme last year, it was like pink and blue, um, which they've done again, but they've sort of incorporated like kind of like a sea vibe, like a few mermaids and starfish and whatnot. 
and crabs and i absolutely love that to be fair because i've got an eye tree oh my god love that mermaid but yeah this is kind of like i like the way though that they decorate the tree and then like walk it into the aisle you know to like pick your decorations from that theme i think it's very good merchandising you know me i pick up on stuff like that um i absolutely love him in a weird way he's a bit ugly but it's fine i absolutely love that as well you know like if you like live on like a coastal beach and do like a coastal tree i think that'll look really really nice oh my god oh how cute is he oh i love him absolutely love him and then there's just all prettier baubles as well they're fab i love them like messaging a bottle <gasps> they look so nice on my tree seven pounds do you reckon you could make them yourself by getting like i don't know like a glass bottle and like putting your own little messaging <gasps> that'd be nice for like new year to make a wish and then open it next year thought of it here first you guys oh my god jews look at them i think they're like sea urchins in a glass bauble but i think it looks so nice on my tree i'm just loving some of the pieces the crabs are gorgeous you've got little i don't know what they are i really don't know but they're nice oh there's some unreal pieces i love that seashell as well that's so nice they're just really pretty really it's a really nice theme I feel like it's a bit of a fad, I don't think it'll last till next year, but regardless, the night. And next is this snow mountain tree, which I'm a huge fan of. You know, I love anything sort of white and silver and glittery. And I quite like the touch of like green as well in it. And um, there's another one of those. I'm going to pick them up because I think they're just nice to have. I think they're a very clever idea. Yeah, they're unreal. Oh, I love this. Oh my God, look at that. How much is that? Eight pounds. To be fair, I feel like the going rate is kind of like eight pounds for a bauble. Oh my god, that's so cute. It's giving me Easter vibes though, I'm not gonna lie. Although it's supposed to be snowy mountain, it is giving me like woodlandy vibes. Um maybe like French snow um boring. I don't know. Like sort of more felty decorations, but I'm obsessed with that. Oh my god, proper foil in there on real there are some nice decorations to be fair but to be honest with you we'll come back to this i've came for this their merchandising is unbelievable oh my god stop it <gasps> look at that whale omg yeah their merchandising is always just the just amazing look at that such a good idea to have a starfish on to, as a tree topper i'm all about quirky tree toppers at the minute i don't know why <gasps> but how amazing is that I love this little trio of iridescent baubles. I like the way as well when they match it, they sort of like bring a few things together. So like sort of like the dining scheme to match your tree and then also gifting ideas. It's very, very clever. And then this one is Copper River. They didn't have that one out, did they? They did this theme last year, to be fair. I feel like they've just copied and pasted the theme. But they're still really, really nice. And I love just these little elements of animals as well. Look how fab they are. Oh my god, and we've also done like pamper top as well, which I really like. I've done pampas in my tree this year, so it's clearly a bit of a vibe. And it's kind of like the interiors to match the tree as well. And can we hope, by the way, they've started selling pampas in here? <gasps> I love that. Oh my god. How unreal is that? We're going off on one then. And here is the Technicolor Supernature. I feel like this is to go sort of with the advert that they're doing. But also it's kind of like an anything goes tree. And I think it's fab. It's every kid's dream to be honest with you. It's got some unreal baubles on. It's also got gifting in. It's got neon stars. Like look at them. Just amazing. Then obviously like the gifting ideas to go with the tree. Again it's more from a merchandise perspective that they're doing that. And then here we have the Gemstone Forest. Which is absolutely gorgeous. I don't like the teddy on the top. It could have been a fairy or something. You have some unreal baubles to do that. Oh, look at this little owl at the bottom. I absolutely love him. And I love the way people are doing disco balls. I can't believe I missed out on that. That's a huge like trend this year. Disco balls and bought me a tray. I think it's been going for a while, but like more so coming back around now. But no, I absolutely love it. I like the idea of having like mixed lights as well, like purple, green, and blue. Especially if you're doing like the fairy garden tree. I don't know, I might do it next year, who knows? Um, we'll look on these stands anyway. There's the starfish tree topper. £20, that's actually not bad to be honest with you. And then I love these trees here as well, they're gorgeous. But most of the stuff to be honest we've seen, this gunk is beautiful. 
I absolutely love him. He's just from over there. Oh, he's not a gong. He's a gnome. He's got eyes. They've cheated me. Here's all the baubles for the Technicolor um, super color thing they had. I don't even know what it's called. I've just made that theme up. Look how amazing some of these baubles are. Oh my god, I love him. How funny is that? There's some gorgeous pieces. I'm honestly obsessed. Oh, look at them. They are fab. Look at him with his little legs. Oh my god, I love them. So for that snow mountain tree I showed you before, they've done a little setup, and oh my god, I'm loving the baubles hanging from the ceiling. Love anything like that. And I didn't see them over there, so definitely just pull them off the tree if you want them to be honest with you. But I absolutely love the idea of having baubles hanging around the tree from your ceiling. I wish we could do that in ours. It just us away. And again, they've sort of done like the party mood, like outfit one and down and then the tree so it blends together it's absolutely gorgeous it really be a trip without a trip into zara Um, perfumes and they smell insane. I really love the Helfetti one but they've just brought out this new one. I cannot pronounce for the life of me but it smells insane. It's exclusive to Selfridges and I really need it. Oh my god, Jews, here's the bag of ones. The boot play, Mark Jacobs. It's absolutely gorgeous. I need it right now. I love it. Oh my god, Jews, I'm in my favourite place in the world in Selfridges, Frog. And honestly, the stuff they've got, I feel like every time I come it's different. Look how fab these are for Christmas. They'd be unreal presents for someone. I would be over the moon if someone got me one of these. Is that a hint? Quite possibly. Um, but those dried flower bubbles are absolutely stunning. And I think I'm going to get one for me tree because I'm just obsessed with them. And I just love them. And how nice would that be? Sorry about the poor lighting, by the way. But how amazing would that be in my studio? And they've got this clear glass bun vase too. And up here, they've got the most stunning collection of vases. I am actually obsessed. And these ones up here as well are just amazing. I really want that one. That would just look amazing in our, um, we've just done our living space up, so it'd look amazing. I just, oh, look how fab it is used. It's just absolutely gorgeous. I can't cope. I just love everything. I'm like lost for words because it's that fab. If you're ever in Selfridges in Traffic Centre, then you need to come here, to be honest. <gasps> Look at those little terrariums as well, if you're more of a plant lover. And you need to see these over here as well. God, how fab are these? I really want one. I love that one. I feel like that would look amazing in my tree. I just want them all. Oh my god, they've done pampas wreaths. Oh my god, how unreal is that? I need it. I just really do. I can't go. Oh my god, look at that. So, so stunning. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. God, how unreal is this Saletti furniture? It's absolutely gorgeous. They've also brought out these like gift boxes where you get like a few bits in them for like 50 to 100 pounds. And it says, I know it sounds like a dream, but it's all real. And how mad are these, by the way? Top 10 Christmas gift ideas flipping sardine can with lighting and toothpaste with lighting mad but i absolutely love these decorations i think they're a bit expensive the 14 pounds for one but i love this little gingerbread man with his head took off and they've got like just an egg that's just all white and then like, a cracked bell i absolutely love the like idea of it it's like half a decoration they all look broke but i think that's just the like art of it oh how gorgeous is this little christmas setup selfridges always do little cute things don't they can't zoom into santa anymore but you get the idea Adam Harlan, you can actually go through and get a photograph with him. He's terrifying, I am not going near him. Oh, fab. How good. Juice. Look at that. Merry hangover. Okay, that's like the perfect secret Santa gift. It really is. And they've got these baubles as well. Like, quite fair, like, hairs, they feel like proper fine. They're gorgeous. 
they've got all that aqua de palma um, candles. Just such a nice gift, you know. Really luxurious gift to give to someone, especially if you got them the aftershave as well or the perfume. How amazing are these sacks, please? Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. Santa, and you can get your name personalised on them as well. And they've got these. Oh my god, it's got an E on. I feel like it's men. It's got a Glastonbury book. How amazing would that be on your coffee table? I absolutely love that. I think I've showed you these before um, on a previous video when I've been here, but honestly, they have some amazing books. I think that's new, I haven't seen that before. But honestly, if you're after something that's really nice as a present or like just a good gift idea, I think a book is just such a go-to. Especially when people can put them on the coffee tables if they're a new homeowner or anything. So this would probably be my go-to. They've got some unreal ones on here as well. A Gucci one. Versace. There's literally so, so many. Okay guys, that does bring me to the end of today's video. Hope you have enjoyed coming shopping for Christmassy bits with me. Honestly, I can still smell that Penhaligon's perfume on both because I've tried both and they smell insane. So I might have to get one of them. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've absolutely loved looking at the Christmassy bits. Starting to feel a bit more festive. Make sure you do subscribe so you don't miss any more videos and I will catch you on my next video.